Just after 8 o'clock, Mick Malloy coming up soon. This is the Triple M Grill Team with Gus, MG and Matty Johns. Yeah, yesterday we spoke about which, just which player Parramatta might uh, cut. And I, look, we spoke about uh, Nathan Peace, and we both, myself and Matty, said, you know, why would they get rid of him? He's, the, he's, the, he's their gun. Yeah, and we thought I was at the goist, didn't yeah, we? We uh, thought he was the more likely. And maybe Kaiser uh, Pritchard as well as a joint, you know. But obviously overnight, um, things change as they always do. In rugby league now, Nathan Peets appears to be the unwanted victim of the Parramatta salary cap saga, and his dad, uh, Geordie Peets, who I had the privilege to play against, and uh, Maddie did as well in the late eighties. He played uh, for the Doggies till the till ninety four, then South from ninety six to ninety eight, played seventy four games, and a real hard, uncompromising hooker like his son. Um, and I'm so glad to say that he he joins us today. G'day, Geordie. How are you, my brother? Yeah, good mate. How's things? Oh, mate, it's, uh, I suppose you're disappointed. Um, you, you've been quoted in the uh, Herald today saying, uh, basically, quote, you have five F-wits on the board who can't add up and it bites uh, a player on the arse when it's not his fault, which obviously is your son. They reckon they've got nothing to answer for. They are pathetic. It's been going on for three or four years and they obviously have no calculators at the club. Um, Nathan, obviously disappointed, Geordie. Uh, he's more shattered, mate. It's, um, as you know, when you're, when you're playing footy and... You get some years, you know, you're not real good mates with everyone, and then some years you're just all clicking, and you know, yeah. you're, you're real, real tight and real close. Like these boys, uh, they're not just footy, footy friends; they're, they're friends out of out of there, and their wives are all friends, and everyone's friends, and it, and, um, it makes it really hard because they're all they're all hurting at the moment because they they just they love each other so much. So, yeah, a tough one, Geordie. Awful, mate. You know, and we, we spoke earlier this morning the fact that uh, Nathan would have went there under, the, you know, looking to the future, saying this is a team that one day I hope to win a competition. All of a sudden, that's on the horizon and he's got to leave. Look, he's a victim of this financial stuff up, but also, Geordie, of his own success, given the fact that, you know, I would imagine they would like to offer other players, but other clubs don't want them. Where they look at Nathan and say, future state of origin play, yeah, we'd love to take him. Who are the clubs? I mean, we know the Gold Coast. Geordie, I mean, how close do you think Nathan is to making a decision to leave? Mate, I don't know. He, he's, I seen him last night. We, we, we were seeing him last night. But it just, it's such a hard, complex thing. Even I'm having trouble wrapping my head around it. Kind of just like, uh, you know, there's, 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 there's ways the cap works and you know, how much this is worth and this is, and yeah. it's just so hard. It's just a, such a complicated thing. Whereas, you know, to... It's probably the easier option is to get rid of Nate because he's he's, he's on bigger money. That's right. And that just wipes it out in one go. Otherwise, they've got to do three, four, five other players to to make up the difference. And it just it is a very confusing thing, mate. I left him last night for him, and he he's got a young family. You know, he just had a like, yeah. you know, mm. you know, grandson's like you know twelve months old. You now his missus just went back to work. You know, just there's a lot of stuff down here. You know, her, all her family down here. It's just, uh, it's really hard, mate. Like it's, a, it's a big decision, and I left him last night just to, just to sort out what he's, he's just more, he's more disappointed than anything. Like, he's just, um, he, he's shattered. He thought he was going to be a paramount for the rest of his life, I reckon. So, well, and you know um, what, Jordy? He actually can be. You know, at the end of the day, he can put his foot down and say, no, I'm a Parramatta player and that's the end of it. Go and find someone else to get rid of. I mean, that is an option. Even Parramatta fans are, are sort of saying, well, you know, we want to keep him for the for the future. We may not make the finals this year if we don't play for points, but we'll still still keep Geordie. That's still an option for him, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, to, to, he's, he doesn't know what he's doing. So, like, yeah. it's, it's a, such a huge, it's a huge decision um, to to have to come at halfway through a year when you're not even ready to, you wasn't even thinking about anything like this, and then you get get strung on with this kind of stuff. So it's it's you know it's, it's up to it's up to him, and, he, he, and like Sam knows what he's doing too. But it's just like Sam's going to back him anywhere he goes, and and we're all just let like he's, he's he's got a big decision to make. So realistically, I'm glad it's him, not me. So you know what? It's 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 our role as dads. Um, you know, obviously to look after our young blokes and. Um, you know, sometimes we get a little bit self-centered about where we, what we want. But in this instance, you live on the Gold Coast, so you're you're yeah. basically saying that you want the best for your son. And um, who? Look, I know you've 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 given it to the board in uh, in no uncompromising circumstances in the paper today. If you had a chance to sit down in front of these blokes, the five members of the board who have stuffed this all up, what would you say to them? Oh, mate, you, you've all got families. You, you you're playing with people's. Not just people's um, football careers. You're playing with people's lives. You know what I mean? Like you, you got to stop and think before you do things. I think there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians there. 
and there's too many people got um, like the, the amount of CEOs have been rolled over in the last five years. They've all blamed each other and all mm. all kind of just went on their merry way and just added another one to the books and mm. and basically they've all they've all stuffed up in a little way all the way along and it just come to one big pimple and, and has to be squeezed soon already. You know what I mean? So like yeah. when it comes down, it, 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 it's just been a it's a <laughs> what do you call it? Yeah. Just like a a, a five year, a five year rich kind of thing, and they just like it, it had to come to a head sooner or later. Like it's mm, not, yeah. it couldn't just get, they can't just keep hiding it. Like, but I think there's just there is definitely too many chiefs not up in the there. That's the, just, that's the main problem. Too many people get to have the can sign people there um, and have power to sign people, or too many people have had that power and and just have have no um, idea what they're doing. To go along with that, you know, what I mean, it's a massive, it's a massive thing, and, and to be able to yeah. control people's lives and the, to, to make my son pack up halfway through a year when he was looking at so, re-signing again, yeah. and now he's he's looking at going to the Gold Coast, like thousand k's away, and taking his family and uprooting them halfway through a year, and then missing out on making this. Like they've already lost their twelve points now. They're gonna he's yeah. gonna have to you know, miss out on like even being with his mates for the rest of the year. Like he doesn't, no, he doesn't know what he's doing. Like he's honestly. Well. Right. He's shattered, mate. You know, I, I can only imagine, Geordie, I can only imagine, the, you know, because he has just said, the complexity of the situation is this. He doesn't want to leave Parramatta. The supporters don't want him to go. And the teammates don't want him to go. And really, the coach doesn't want him to go. However, if he does put his foot down, as Gus says, they're going to be, they're going to be playing on Friday night for no points. Mm. Which is so unfair on the, on the young bloke. It, it is so too much, pr- way too then, much pressure. Way too and then why can't sort of they find someone? Can he turn around and say no, Gus, and they go to the squad the and find is, someone else? As I said, it's because he's a player that other clubs want. Yep. And if he's on three hundred grand, other clubs will say we'll pay that three hundred grand. Yep. Where if it was a lesser player, if they're on two hundred, they say, well look, we'll you give you seventy five. Only seventy five for the cap. He's a victim of his own abilities and success in a lot of ways. Geordie, look, yeah, tough one, much. mate. Yeah. Tough one. Glad you came on this morning, yeah, thank brother. Thank you. Number one, though, mate, he's still got his talent, brother. Thank you, mate, yeah. Good, hey, on, hey, good hey, on you. And, and you're a pop mate now. Gee whiz. What, 40, yeah. what are you, 48, 47? 40, 46, bud. 46. <laughs> hey, Geordie, just before we let you go, what was it like playing against MG and Matty? He's a big, ugly man, and Matty was a skillful. Um, oh, smart ass. He just had to watch all it. Yeah, smart No, we're talking, about, <laughs> we're talking about Matthew Johns, not Joey Johns. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Joey. Joey. See you, mate.